Welcome back to the fresh new GK Tech How To Edits. Enjoy the new visual stimulation as we lay down explanations on how to install our parts. In this case, our rear camber arms. We will, however, have the same box wiggle, then tell you what's inside combo. And here's what's inside. First off, you get dust boots. Now the bearings are PTFE lines, so you only need to run these if you want to. You get four of these little inserts that go into the hind joint, and finally, the assembled main body itself. It looks a bit different to all the others out there on the market and for good reason. It gives you chassis clearance when your suspension is maxing out. It also has clearance for larger axles and like our other arms, they're all made from 4130 chromoly and has a beefed up 3mm sidewall. It also comes with an assembly guide which gives you the skinny on min and max safe extensions. Speaking of set adjustments, we hear GK Tech recommends starting at the maximum safe extension and winding inwards from there to your desired length. This ensures a safe thread overlap. Measuring from the safe max extension bolt hole to bolt hole is 348 millimeters which also measures in at 86 millimeters from the edge of the arm to the end of the extender. And overall length from the edge of the arm to the center of the insert is 153 millimeters, which includes the extender's measurement and is not in addition to it. The OEM length measures in at 308 millimeters, again from center hole to center hole, or if just setting up the GK arm, is 112 millimeters measuring from the end of the arm to the center of the insert. Now when fitting in this orientation, the washer is optional. Dance boys and camber gang, listen up. Everybody else fast forward a bit. To get that dank right on the inside of your wheel and blow through tires and four mile negative camber you so crave, remove the rose joint from the adjuster, then the adjuster itself, and thread that bad boy into the back of the arm. That's right, hidden features for no extra charge. Thread it all the way in, and it will be all smexy like this right here. With the adjuster and locking nut fitted to the back of the arm, install the rose joint lock nut and washer to the front of the arm, and please, for the love of all that is holy, do not forget that washer. This is what it looks like completed, and this is the minimum length measuring 290 millimeters bolt hole to bolt hole. In this configuration, that is the maximum negative adjustment. Whilst comparing this to the OEM arm, that comes in at 18 millimeters of negative adjustment. Wow. If you were to compare the OEM length to the max safe extension, you would get a whopping 40 millimeters of positive adjustment to straighten up all that camber, chasing that low life you so desire. Now, onto the brass tacks of the install. Loosen and remove the outer nut and bolt from the old arm. Then drop the arm out of the way. Now, loosen and remove the inner nut and bolt. Then yank that old arm out. And normally, we would bend that sucker, but we wanted to show you some side-by-sides of why ours rock. Peep this old unit. It's flat. But unlike the Earth, this arm hits your chassis in undesirable ways when the suspension is compressed. Say no to flat arms and or Earths. Ours have chassis rail clearance here, and then goes on to have half shaft clearance here as well. Freaking bonus! So you can hot boy it up and go as low as you can handle without hitting your frame. Hashtag GK Tech, baby. And, by the way, you can install them to either the front of the coilover or behind the coilover. Install the washers, bolt, and nut, then tighten them down and torque to the specs shown on the screen here. Head over to the outer part of the arm, slip that over the nut, install the nut and bolt, tighten them down, then torque to these specs shown here as well. Now to adjust, adjust as shown here. Again, we always like to start from max safe adjustment and wind inwards. Once it's dialed and where you need it, ensure the bearing is running central and not cocked to the left nor to the right. Once it's in the middle, hold the adjuster and tighten down the locking nuts on either side and bing bang boom, you're done. Peep the fresh outro of us living our best V8 lives doing burnouts on both sides of the planet. can install these, have a pro do it, or reach out to us with any questions. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, and One Lap Zach, coming at you with another GK Tech How-To. Peace.